April 2022, in San Bernardino, California, a couple would capture this footage on a home security camera placed in their bedroom. The video shows a man, who just a few moments before had broken into the house. He walks around the couple's bedroom as they're sleeping just next to him. While covering his face with some sort of cloth, he silently rummages through some of their belongings. But, at times, he also just straight up stares at the couple as they're lying there. Later, he would be caught on a different camera, this one in the living room. He walks right past the couple's son and his night nurse, both also sleeping. From there, he unlocks the front door and lets himself out. But, a few minutes later, now caught on the doorbell camera he's seen coming back. Though, by this point, the night nurse had woken up and noticed him at the door. He would then simply tell her to lock the door, because it wasn't safe to keep it open. Taking his advice, she does, completely unaware that he had broken into the house only a few minutes prior. Okay, thanks. The man had originally gotten into the house through a slightly opened window. It was open in order to keep medical equipment cool, which was used to help the couple's son breathe. In the morning, the couple would notice their wedding rings and some cash missing. They would review their security cameras, and that's when they would first see this footage. The man has since been tracked down by police using DNA evidence. He's currently being investigated for committing multiple additional crimes of the same nature on other homes that didn't have security cameras. This video shows the footage from one family's home security camera that was placed in their living room. At first, all seems normal, but the man in the footage then begins to hear the song, Somebody's Watching Me, play. It's not coming from the TV, and what I assume is his wife claims she isn't playing it. What is that? They're all snuffing. What was that noise? Mm. I heard, like, singing. Huh? Did you change the ringer on your phone or something? No. I didn't change anything. You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything, man. Oh my god, there. You hear that? No. Stop it. I know you're playing a game. Then what? Somebody's watching me! My phone is in my purse. It's not you? I swear to God, it's not me. It's not me. I always feel like somebody's watching me, is what it just said. That song, which is kind of weird. What? It's in the camera over there. There's something, but it's coming from the TV. Yeah. And it, and it was, I always feel like somebody's watching me, that song. There it is, the girl. You're crazy, the name's coming from your camera. It turns out the song was coming from his camera. Someone had hacked the live feed, which included audio controls, and began playing music that, in this context, is pretty disturbing. There are multiple different ways this could have been done. Most camera feeds are broadcasted online through applications that allow anyone to access the camera with proper credentials. And some applications make it shockingly easy to bypass this. Even when they don't, other methods such as phishing and various social engineering attacks can be used to grant someone access. This video isn't the only example of this. There are many other similar videos out there. What was the song? What was the song? I always feel like somebody's watching me. Come get the camera. How is that even possible? This whole concept is often known as IP camera trolling, and it's a bit of a rabbit hole. Multiple YouTube and Twitter accounts have posted these types of videos online. A lot of them will play songs trying to get a reaction from the camera owner, but others will speak into the camera. For example, they'll comment on what is happening, they'll insert themselves into a conversation, or they'll attempt to spook the camera owner by using a ghostly voice, all in an attempt to garner a reaction. 
Unknown to the people in the videos, these reactions are then posted online for others to view. A lot of people see it as a harmless prank. It's pretty much known as its own genre of video at this point. There are even tutorial videos out there explaining how to do it. But obviously, done with the wrong intent, and this is much more dangerous. Just to touch the surface, individuals could use access to these cameras to collect images and recordings for blackmail or extortion purposes. I mean, there's no way everyone gaining access to these cameras is simply looking for some funny reaction. Nowadays, while not all of them, a lot of these accounts and videos have been removed. But stuff like this still happens. Videos similar to these will still occasionally show up around the internet. Regular home security cameras are not the only type of cameras susceptible to hacking. Really, anything connected to an IP network can be accessed. So, this can include things like an integrated webcam and a laptop, or even a baby monitor. A couple in Cincinnati, Ohio would experience this firsthand when, in the middle of the night, a baby monitor they had for their 10-month-old daughter was hacked into. The mother had woken up to the sound of a man's voice coming from her daughter's room. She would then open her phone to view the baby monitor's live feed. That's when she noticed the camera was moving, but she wasn't moving it from her phone, it was doing it by itself. Sound asleep about midnight, all of a sudden I heard, it sounded like a man's voice, but you know, I was so asleep I wasn't sure. About the time I saw it moving, I also heard a voice again start screaming at my daughter. The two would rush into the room, and that's when the camera turned from the couple's daughter to the couple themselves. Frantically, they unplugged the camera, cutting the feed. It's hard to believe the whole situation was simply an attempt to get some sort of reaction from the couple, especially considering it was a baby monitor camera that was being hacked. But at the end of the day, there's really no way of knowing for sure what the intentions were. This happened in February of 2017. A mother in Billings, Montana would wake up in the middle of the night to a notification on her phone. Her phone was synced to a baby monitor she had set up in her infant daughter's room. And anytime there was enough motion detected, the system would send out a notification. On this night, upon being alerted, she would open the app expecting to see her daughter awake and walking around her crib, that being what caused the notification. But instead, she would see this. A man who she didn't know is seen on the camera crouched down in the room. Right as she saw this, she dropped her phone and ran to the room to retrieve her daughter. When she got in the room, she didn't see anyone, but she wasn't exactly looking. Rather, as quickly as she could, she grabbed her daughter from her crib and ran straight out the house's front door. From there, she would call the cops and proceed to stand outside waiting for them. When they arrived, they conducted a complete search of the home, but they didn't find anyone. The intruder was gone. All the mother had for evidence was this still frame she managed to capture of the man crouched down in the room. People have since tried to enhance the photo to get a better look at the man so that he could be identified, but to no avail. It's just too dark. Police still don't know who this man is. They also don't know how he got in the house. There were no signs of forced entry. A very odd detail is it was found that nothing but the remote to a dog shot collar was stolen from the house. Nothing further would occur after the break-in. Who this man is and how he got in the house is still unknown. This home security camera in Overland Park, Kansas captured the home robbery of 21-year-old Katie O'Connor. Though this didn't occur while she was out, instead Katie was home and being held hostage while the robbery was taking place. Near the bottom left of the screen, you can see a man holding her in a headlock while another man and woman take her belongings, all while she can do nothing but watch. Okay. Don't move. Oh, no. okay. But more unsettling is how the three got in the house in the first place. As it turns out, the woman walking around the house, Cheyenne Watts, who was also taking part in the robbery, was, up until that point, what Katie would consider a good friend. They were friends for a while, and would even schedule playdates for their children. And so, earlier this day, when Cheyenne went up to Katie's door, she was of course let in without question. 
by, completely unknown to Katie. This time she had brought two other men with her, who all had the intent to hold her hostage in her own home as the three of them robbed her. Eventually, the man holding Katie in a headlock would notice a cord, and assume it was for a camera somewhere in the home. Where's the camera? Shut the door lock. Please, I need... Where's the... Where's the camera? Oh my god. Lock the door. Don't say nothing. Where? It's on the wall. Okay, where's the video footage, sir? Where's the footage, sir? It's, it's a Wi-Fi. Where's the footage? It's not there. It's wireless. Just... I'm not trying to get in there. Right Finally, the three locate the camera and point it away from them, but they fail to unplug it which wouldn't really matter anyway because the whole thing was already being uploaded to the cloud in real time. However, because they didn't unplug it, you can hear them begin to turn on each other as they realize there's nothing they can now do to get rid of the footage, as again, all of it is already stored on an off-site hard drive. You did this, though. No. No, don't put this on the camera. Don't put this on the camera. Finally, they unplug the camera, but of course it's already too late. Still, the three proceed with the robbery, and in the end they leave with a set of tools, a safe, and cash Katie had saved up for school and rent. Fortunately, Katie would end up getting out of the situation unharmed. Later, Cheyenne and one of the men would be found and arrested by police. However, the other man, the one that held Katie in a headlock, has yet to be found. This home security camera footage captured the break-in of a home in Wichita, Kansas. It was the night of May 8, 2020, at 2.30 a.m. Shown is 15-year-old Anaya Robinson sleeping on the couch in the living room with the TV on. Then, from around the corner, appears a man. This man had only moments earlier broken into the house. When he sees Anaya on the couch, he doesn't react. Instead, he stays inside and just stands there, watching her. This went on for several minutes until Anaya woke up. When she opened her eyes, she saw the man right above her. Seeing him, she screamed for her mother. At that point, the intruder fled the home. Police would immediately be called by Anaya's mother, but by the time they got there, the intruder was long gone. Strangely, the man stole nothing. The family thoroughly searched, but discovered nothing was missing. This brought into question the man's true intent here. What exactly he was trying to achieve that night is unclear. This footage is the only piece of evidence relating to the incident. Therefore, police weren't able to ascertain how the man entered the house. Additionally, they didn't find out who he was. Even today, this man still hasn't been identified.